Just like many of you, YouTube is a place that I go daily to either be entertained or educated. This has been something I've been doing since I was a kid. I used to rewatch LEGO stop motion videos or let's plays of Pokemon or even like Call of Duty montages almost every single day. I was inspired by these types of videos at a young age and wanted to create my own content just like them. After all, these were just ordinary people like you and me. These weren't some directors of films or celebrities, yet they had the power to create some content and then upload it to the world to enjoy. This was something that I wanted to be a part of and also contribute to. YouTube is a powerful and unique technology because not only can someone enjoy content, but with a few clicks of a button, anyone can contribute to the creation of it. I don't think many people understand the magnitude of this and how wonderful it truly is. After many years of being a viewer, I decided that I wanted to upload content for myself. So in February of 2011, I decided it was time to start that journey and put my creations out there for the world to hopefully enjoy. Over the last decade or so, I've made over 10 different YouTube channels trying to find my voice in this video creation space. I initially made videos about Call of Duty just because I love the game. Then I tried videos about League of Legends and Pokemon, yet all those channels failed by my own lack of understanding on the whole video creation process. For unknown reasons, there's always been things that I wish to share with the world, and I bet many of you also feel the same pull and urge to share things with others. I think this has to do something with the feeling that someone understands you on a deeper level and just to know that you aren't really alone in your interests and hobbies or even points of view. Creating videos on YouTube has allowed me to share thoughts and experiences with others that I might not have been able to do so otherwise. Everyone experiences things in their lives that is either hard to explain or seems too unique for someone else to relate to. However, by creating content on this platform and putting myself out there, I realize that I'm not alone and that there are many others who share the same emotions or passion about specific things as I do. By bringing these individuals together and forming a digital community or family around similar interests is something that YouTube cultivates. Allowing people to upload content and then letting viewers post comments directly under the video makes sharing thoughts and experiences effortless. And for this I feel grateful to be alive in a time that I can be a part of it. The content on this channel mostly focuses around Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, but more specifically the older games. One thing I struggle with is that feeling of nostalgia and accepting that we're all growing up. A large portion of my mind strongly resists this. I used to think that this was something that only I experienced and that I was childish for still wanting to enjoy games from my childhood. I was just trying to relive and chase that high of how it felt to be as a kid when things were simpler and more pure. By creating this type of content, I can appreciate things that I enjoyed as a kid, but experience it in a different way and have the ability to share it with others who share the same feelings. After uploading many videos to YouTube, I now realize that I'm not alone, and not only that, but others understand how I feel on a greater level. Producing a video and letting other people experience something I made is different than when someone else uploads a video and I experience something and relate to them. Maybe the same feelings or experiences are mutual, however, there are differences. As a viewer, you relate to the creator of the video, but as a creator, the viewers relate to you. That relationship might overlap with some emotions or experiences or even thoughts. However, the path in which it is perceived is different. Neither is more important than the other. There are just distinctions. YouTube is the medium that allows observers to also be creators, which fosters a more significant connection with oneself and others. YouTube has been an essential part of my life, not only as a viewer, but also as a creator. And the beauty of it is that anyone can also become a creator at any time. All you have to do is have the urge to share something, put it into a piece of content, and then upload it for others to watch. The possibilities and opportunities are limitless.